Hi, I'm Rana Lee and I'm your personal beauty consultant and I'm going to show you something that's a little tricky to do and a lot of people have trouble doing it. I'm going to show you a couple easy ways to do it. It's called applying a nude lip. First thing about a nude lip you need to know is if you're going to wear a nude lipstick, you don't want your face look washed out. So what the best thing to do is to dress up your eyes any way you can. Smoky eye, more eyeliner than you would normally wear, or fake lashes if that's your thing, or extra mascara. Anything to make you not look washed out. Now the trick to wearing a nude lipstick is exfoliating. This, what I'm using, is actually a lip exfoliator. Go figure, right? I got this at Bath & Body Works about two years ago. It's by C.O. Bigelow. What it is is a menthol lip buffer. And it's a gentle formula. And it consists of peppermint, cocoa, and shea butter. And the main ingredient is sugar. So if you do not have this, you could use sugar on a rag, make it a little syrup, and use it. Or, everybody has this that apricot St. Ives scrub, take it out, put it on a rag or a face wipe and go ahead and scrub your lips. But don't scrub too hard because they have really rough beads in that and you don't want to make your lips bleed. So I've had this for two years. A little bit goes a long way. So just a dab on whatever cleansing wipe you use and just go ahead and scrub away. What you're going to scrub away is that flaky skin that looks really chapped all the dead skin. You want to scrub basically until you, your lips look pink as if you actually did just apply lipstick on. That's how you know you're done. So that's just, you know, a little way of knowing. Now once you get up all the flakes, all the chappedness, all the dead skin and your lips look pink naturally, you're done. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to apply a nude lip liner. The one I'm choosing to use today is by CoverGirl. It's called Outlast Smoothwear and the color is Candid Ginger. It's a nude lip liner. Best thing about this one, which you know I love, it rolls. This is just like doing the red except for a nude. So you want to actually just line your lips completely. and fill them in. Not all the way, but just enough. Just broke my lip liner. Thank goodness it rolls up. Alright. All lined. So, after you do that, here's your key. You're going to get a lip brush and the color I'm choosing to use is Revlon and it's a matte and it is called Nude Attitude and it's number 001 and it's by Revlon and it's a matte nude color. The trick to doing this is using a lip brush because this way you can control how much you're putting on you because control is the best part that way you get to see what you're doing and where it needs to go and where you don't go outside the liner and as long as you do that you'll be okay you shouldn't have any cracks any flakes it should go on really smoothly if you exfoliate it until your lips turn pink so after you've done that blend the liner Everything should look really smooth by now, but it feels a little chap, dry, right? So what we need to do is we're going to add a nude gloss. What I'm going to use is Hard Candies All Glossed Up. It's one of my favorite things in the world. And the best thing about this one is it's a hydrating lip stain. That means it gives you moisture and it also wears long. Best thing about it, it comes in pencil form. The color I'm using today is called Chick. It's a cute color. Use your lip brush for this also. You don't want to put too much on, but you just want to put enough on 
so that your lips do not feel dry. I find when I do this, going up and down in like the pattern of your lips, makes it look a whole lot better. And then don't forget my trick. A little suckling so it doesn't end up on your teeth. Because you never know. You're not going to have that friend around who's going to tell you the truth. And voila! There's the secret to nude lips. Remember, always exfoliate, line them, pick a nude color. You could use a matte. That's what I prefer, but whatever one you find, you know, pick one you like. Then also use a gloss, but remember the number one trick to applying a lip brush. That way you can control where it goes. Follow the patterns of your lips. But remember, ladies, if you don't exfoliate, it's not going to come out smooth. And you know you've exfoliated enough when your lips look pink enough to wear as if it could be lipstick on your lips. So, exfoliate, apply, line, apply, gloss with the lip, brush, and then you're done. And remember, darker eyes, light lips. Dark lips, light eyes. Simple, right, ladies? Let me know what you think about it. Give it a try. You can try these products I suggested, or you can pick your own. So let me know, but also just try the steps first, and let me know how, you, how they work out for you, and if you like nude lips or not. Look forward to hearing your feedback.